Russia. How did you first get involved in the film? Um, well, a good friend of mine who's the producer and also stars in it, Ray Pinfaki, um, we've been good friends for a long time. And uh, he just rang me up and asked me if I was interested in doing a cameo. And I said, yeah, definitely. How did he um, describe the role that you would be playing in the film? Because it's hilarious. <laughs> he basically described me being a cowboy. And uh, I was like, are you serious? And, uh, you know, once we got shooting and stuff, um, I mean, I, I just thought it kind of weird for a cowboy from Texas being in a British convenience store. You don't see that every day. Uh, do you have a uh, favorite line of yours in the film? Um, see, I haven't seen the film yet. Um, I think there's a line in there at the end where I say, um, see you later, jihads. Something like that. I don't remember the exact line, but it's something like that. Uh, what's next for yourself? Um, well, I have a movie coming out uh, probably next year called 420, if you know what that means. Okay, if you guys know what that means. Um, I play a drug lord and an arms dealer named Tito. And it's uh, the same people that did uh, the movie White Chicks. So it's a, it's, it'll be funny. I mean, it's you have many great career highlights, but personally, which one like is one of your favorites? Um, just having the opportunity to keep working. Um, the opportunity to be in the second Austin Powers, which I was such a big fan of the first one. And given that opportunity to be in the second one after being a fan, that was like a huge moment for me. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Nice to meet you.